everybody, thank you for joining in. Today, we'll be going over Asana's status update feature. My name is Shefa and I help businesses like yours with Asana bills. If you have any questions after this video, feel free to comment below or reach out directly. Let's jump into Asana. All right, so we are in Asana. I'm currently in my home view. On the navigator, under my teams, I'm gonna to go to the Bidgely demo because this is the team where I have my projects that I'll be managing. So let's go specifically into project three. Over here, I have all of my details for my projects. I have my different views for my projects, whether it's list, whether it's board, and I want to be able to give a weekly status update as a project manager. As a project manager, it's very important to give weekly status updates as to whether your project is on track or whether there's any issues so that your team is aware and can help assist. So that's where this feature is very valuable. Up top right over here near the project name, there's a status tracker. And I can see at this time, the status of this project is set to on track. If I wanna change the status, I go ahead and just click this drop down, and I can select the status that I wanna to update to. I would suggest for project managers to set a cadence for when they wanna set their status update so that the team is aware as to when to expect those updates. So I can see my latest update right over here, April 21st, which was just an hour ago, where I have this project status update. If I open this, I actually used a template for the status update. This is a very nice template. It's provided directly by Asana. Asana actually gives you a template that you can use for your status updates. We've linked it in the video right below and it gives you steps on how to write a great project status update and it gives you a whole template that you can use for your team. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna copy this so we can continue to use the same template for our status updates. It keeps us consistent in terms of a structure that we use. I'm gonna go ahead and update status and I'm gonna put the status of the project. Just for this example, I'm gonna set it to off track. And once I click that, it directs me to a new web page where now I'm able to put the status for this project. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to 22nd April, just because I already have one for today. So just to kind of give you a view of to what this would look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste that, that template that I had for statuses right here. Here we go. And I would go ahead and start writing in what my report name is, what the project health is, a summary of just the important takeaways for the status, um, certain uh, overviews of key areas, and any additional information that the team needs to know along with blockers or additional highlights, all right? After I'm done, I can go ahead and select certain recipients this is always going to be posting in the project chat, which I'll show you. But if there's certain folks like your dev lead or your manager that needs to be notified, you can go ahead right over here and select who needs to be notified here. We have um, myself, we have Ali at Bidgley.org, and we have the Bidgley Demo and Task Collaborators team. So that is good for me. I'm going to go ahead and keep that as is. After I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and hit post. And there we go. We've done our project status update for project three. In the overview tab of the project, on the right-hand side, you're gonna see a historical record of all of the status updates, all of the communication through your project, which is quite nice. You can see that the project was created an hour ago. Uh, we can see who joined, and then we can see our status updates, and we can see the color coordination based off of the status. So we can see that it was on track earlier, and there was a new client request that came in. And a little bit after that, the status was off track. When I jump into the messages tab of my project view, this is where I'm able to see a thread of all of my project status updates, as well as communication with my team. What's nice about this is when you post your status update, you can have your team members add comments or questions below so that you can continue the conversation if there's any concerns from the team. So this is quite a nice view to just see all of that collaboration in one place so that you can look back at this to see what your status updates were throughout that when you're working on a future project. And that is the status update feature in Asana. Status updates are very valuable to teams and to project managers specifically to ensure that communication is being sent out to their teams. It's a great way to let your team and to let your leads know of the progress of the project, where you're running into blockers and where you may need help. Definitely use this feature to keep your team on track and to keep them updated. If you have any questions about the status update feature or other features of Asana, feel free to reach out by commenting below or sending us a message directly and we'd be happy to help.